but look at all of the the red iron dust that's in the air you know that's the sun and then all of that shiny yellow stuff that's on the horizon that you see is not yellow it's red and that's dust coming over the horizon with this planetary system and we are breathing in that dust and people are going to go into sepsis a septic shock and an infection gets into the bloodstream uh, and it produces systemic or total body changes alicia had the most severe form of sepsis uh, it can injure the lungs the kidneys and perhaps the most potentially devastating manifestation of sepsis is when it involves the cardiovascular system the heart and blood vessels and the person can't keep their blood pressure up compatible with life. We call that septic shock. That's what they call it. That, all this dust right here, you're going to go into septic shock. And what this does is, it's going to get into your lungs. It's going to cause an infection in your lungs. It's going to be a cough first. You're going to start coughing. You're going to get headaches. You're going to get diarrhea. Uh, your body going to start uh, being with inflammation because your body is going to try to build up antibodies to get rid of this which is going to inflame your body then your heart is going to start hurting your lungs are going to be hurting and then your body is going to go into septic shock and you are going to die um, did have a miscarriage um, as a result of septic shock they realized that I was going into multi-organ um, failure at that time and immediately thought that I needed to get a higher level of care and go to the ICU. And that is how people are dying right now. They saying it's a flu epidemic, but that is a lie. They are giving, I'm, let me tell you how cold these hospitals are, man. You can go to the hospital and they have something called placebo treatment. And, and, and this is clinical trials, which they... Uh, they have two treatments, you know, two treatment boxes or two treatments, and they don't know. And and this, this is how wicked the devil is. They don't know which one is the real treatment and which one is the false treatment. And the hospital has to take a guess at this. I still don't know today, uh, and it's almost two years ago, uh, whether Alicia got the real treatment or the fake treatment. Uh, I'm not supposed to know. She was very sick, not getting better, and then she got very quickly better over 24 hours. Uh, I would like to think she got the treatment. We won't know the answer to that question until the trial is over and the analysis is done. Peace and love to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods who see the god in me. I see you. I love you. I hope you enjoyed that introduction. First of all, that further underlies my point is that the planet is changing from a carbon 12 to a carbon 7. All that is unnatural to this planet will not be able to make that switch. Now, I'm not saying that just because I am black and I have the ability to make that switch because let me just let you know, for all of my people, my brothers and sisters, if you do not stop eating these meats out here this food that is keeping you at a low frequency vibration you are now having heart attacks you are having diarrhea you are having headaches because it is being it is hard for you to make the switch you have to eat foods that have electricity in them life in them fruits and vegetables you have to feed this more than you feed in this right here to all other races, as I stated to you before, if you do not turn to the black woman, the God of humanity, and I'm not saying this, this is science facts. All you have to do is break away from that book, whatever book, holy book that you decide that you want to live in, get out of that book and just start looking at science and studying genetics and looking at the biological composition of the black woman. That's all you have to do. And then look at what's going on across the globe. If they, if this entity that crashed on this planet could have destroyed those, those, those pyramids after they, after the, after they, the queen and royal family 
you know, went in there and took all that shit out of there. If they could have blew that shit up, they would blow it up. But they couldn't. There is universal law that this entity had to fall, had to follow. And this entity knew that this day would come. Your government is keeping this a secret from you because they are all under control by this entity. Every last one of them. And you, the people, have the choice to turn against them. Look at the diseases that you are catching at this time. All across the globe, this is happening. Not just in one state, not just in one city, not just in one country. Everywhere that these, that, that Inky and Enlil has genetically modified and created all these races of people on this planet. Because they can't switch from the carbon 12 to the carbon 7, they are being born without their genitals. Birth defects, even more with tails now. And they're dying fast when they catch the so-called flu within 24 hours. Am I happy about that? Hell no. The God that's in me don't allow me to be happy about that. But I know that we need to separate because if we don't separate, my race, my people, the true God of humanity and her star seas will be wiped off one of their planets that they travel to. And this is unfair to us to continue to live at the bottom of the boot of all other races. When not one of you will be able to speak not one of your languages if it wasn't for the God of humanity giving us the order to teach you how to stand upright teach you how to bathe and stay disease free and speak some sort of a language this is wrong what you are doing and this is righteousness to what is happening you need to do something unprecedented like your forefather did something unprecedented killed over 18 billion of us off the orders of this entity and you are still doing it to this day you know why See, Barack Obama put all this shit into place. Who is not black, by the way. See, if you study science, you'll know Barack Obama is not black. He put all this shit into place so he can start the Arab slave trade in Libya and Syria. You know why? Because they knew this time was coming. You need the black woman's blood. Her, her, uh, her, her um, placenta and the a, and a, and a baby star seeds between the ages of zero and seven. You need their blood. Because every time the black woman gives birth, she's giving birth to evolution. Right now, the black woman is giving birth to star seeds that are, are that are prepared for the for the switch from the carbon twelve to the carbon seven. They are children are having psychic abilities. When the children wake up in the morning, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, talk softly to them and ask them what they dream about and see what they. And you'll be amazed at what they're telling you. But, but you all continue, continue, no matter what you see across the globe, what our Sky family is doing, what our binary twin Ra who has returned is doing, the rare iron oxide dust that is getting in your lungs, tearing up your heart, eating you from the inside out like a pesticide, giving you headaches. Heart attacks has been up at a significant rate, particularly Europe, Russia, all across the globe, my people. The, the military, the government has your local media completely under control. Even YouTube and Facebook, Instagram. But this is righteousness. Our Sky family is not holding back not one iota. You've killed over 18 billion of us and you're still doing it to this day. So now you're, you, listen, what, when you're taking the blood from the children from zero to seven and you organ harvesting, uh, the black women, right? And you all can search this for yourself and see if I'm lying. Search this, please, my people. I have no hatred for no other race. I want you to turn to your creator and stop this madness. So that way you can at least make this move, this switch over to separation peacefully. You can search Henrietta Lacks. They killed her because in her blood, it, she had something in her blood that was able to cure cancer. So now you are all searching for cures in the black woman's dna and her star seeds so you can stop this this disease this academic that has happened to y'all it's going to get worse the process is going to get sped up 
What do you gonna think is gonna happen when a true summer hit here in March, April, May, June, July? What do you think is going to happen with the radiation and the holes that are in the in the ozone layer? This is not fear mongering. This is telling you the truth, my people. Look at your babies. Look at your babies. They have no right to walk down this dark path with you. They have no right. The people, the children of the day are, do not have my people in mental slavery. It's the adults, the teenagers. You have to turn to the black woman and repent to her and stop this madness. You think you're going to wake up tomorrow and all this is going to go away? No, this is here to stay. Look at what's happening across the globe. Look at the volcanoes that are erupting around the countries that, that to the people that were genetically created. Look at the mudslides and the tsunamis. This is not fear mongering. I am speaking to you with love to wake you up. This cannot continue to go on. My brothers and sisters, please stop eating this food. Stop eating this food. Develop self-discipline. Turn this TV off. Turn the box off. Feed your mind more than you feed in your vessel that you inhabit just to walk around on this planet. You are great. You are infinite light. Don't let no other race tell you different. We have the power to control our own destiny. I love you, my people. Peace, love, and light to all of my brothers and sisters across the globe. To every last one of you and to all the new subscribers who mother is not black. I, again, you know I don't want nothing to happen to you. How can I ever get any satisfaction out of doing do, enslaving you or watching you hurt? That is not in my heart. I am God because I come from God, the black woman. We are creative people. We are loving people. Just like Mother Earth and Mother Nature. Mother Earth and Mother Nature, all they ask you to do is just love them. Love it. And she will produce fruits and vegetables for you. And beautiful air. That's all she asks. Not this madness that has been on her planet, on this planet for quite some time that is now coming to an end. Whether you want to face facts or not. All that is unnatural. Do you not understand right now at this particular time and moment that animals, like I said, it's going to st it's starting with the animals for the most part. And they keep it out of secret. You should, you should, just along in 2018, 2018, the, the mass animals die off. And so with all of that strange stuff happening as of late, I wanted to do some further research and maybe find out if there have been any other mass die-offs as of late. And what I found was nothing short of shocking. And it's basically this website that already did the work and created this mass animal casualty list where it lists, starting from January 1st of this year up until now, any sort of animal cataclysm happening just like what was seen in Utah. And uh, let's see, starting on the 1st, we have 358,000 birds found lifeless in Saudi Arabia. Uh, as I'm going through these, thousands upon thousands of dead starfish, crabs, just fish of all kind, turtles washing up on beaches around the world. Uh, let's see, eight dolphins and whales washed up along the coast of Ireland. Hundreds more fish mysteriously washed up in the waters of Adelaide, Australia. More birds on the coast of Destin, Florida. Hundreds of ducks in Nebraska. And the most recent report from January 24th was 170 dolphins that were found to have perished due to a, quote, virus in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So, yeah, I mean, it seems that there's way much more happening than just this in Utah. These animals don't belong here. They have been genetically modified and created. It is time for all unnaturalness to leave this planet. All of it. 
to all of my brothers and sisters. I love you. I love you. I hope that you develop self-discipline. I love you. To all the new subscribers whose mother is not black. I love you too. I send nothing but peace, love, and light out to you. And hope that you turn to your, your, your brothers and sisters. And shed light on them. If not, then leave them be. You repent to the God of humanity. Stop locking my people up. Stop holding up the satanic laws against my people. Stop oppressing us. Just one of you to make that change can turn into two and then three. And the switch and a change can be a lot less, can be a lot less painful. Peace and love and light to all my brothers and sisters, to all the queen goddesses, to all of my fellow king gods, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds who see the God in me. I see you. I love you.